Hello. Uh, in this video, we'll be looking at the energies of an orbiting satellite at different altitudes. Now, what are the energies involved? Since this mass is sitting in a gravitational field of the Earth, there must be GPE, and the GPE can be written as negative GMM over R. And of course, the satellite is doing circular motion, so it is moving, which means it has Ke, and the Ke can be written as half mv squared. The orbital speed of the satellite is of course dependent on the orbital radius. This is because the satellite is counting on the gravitational pull of the Earth to provide it with the required centripetal force. So let's take a quick detour to apply Newton's second law on the satellite. So the gravitational pull can be written as GML over R square, and the required centripetal force is of course MV square over R. If we rearrange the equation, we can obtain this expression that the K of the satellite can be written as half GMM over R. So we are going to substitute this new expression for K into our equation here. Ah, what a coincidence. See, both the GP and the K has this common term GMM over R here. So the total energy of the satellite turns out to be negative 1 plus half of GMM over R, which makes it negative half GMM over R. So the satellite has GPE that's negative GMM over R, it has KE that's half GMM over R, and its total energy, which is a summation of its GPE and KE, is negative half GMM over R. And we are very fond of presenting the orbital energies graphically. So the GPE graph is the familiar 1 over x graph. The GPE is most negative on the surface of the Earth and it approaches zero uh, towards the point at infinity. The total energy is also a 1 over x graph, but uh, you have only half the value of the GPE. So make sure at every position, the total energy is half the value of GPE. Half it, half it, half, half. The Ke graph is also a 1 over x graph, but of course Ke is always positive, so it's drawn on the positive side. And Ke is half GMM over R, so it's just a mirror image of total energy. So this graph and this graph should be mirror images of each other. Right? Mirror image of each other. If we compare two satellites of the same mass orbiting at two different altitudes, then obviously this one has a higher total energy than this one. That's why moving a satellite from one orbit to another always involves uh, doing work on the satellite. For example, if you want to bring a satellite from a lower altitude to a higher altitude, positive work must be done on the satellite. Conversely, if you want to bring this satellite to orbit at a lower altitude, negative work must be done onto the satellite. It's interesting to note that when you bring a satellite from a lower orbit to a higher orbit, it actually loses Ke. But the loss in Ke is only half the gain in GPE. That's why overall, a satellite orbiting in a higher altitude has a higher total energy. That's all. Ta-ta!